So, Jerry Sandusky, this came down on Friday night, and you saw the reaction on Twitter, and it got very viral, and people were very, very happy that that's the way that went down. There certainly were people who were celebrating that verdict. Again, there are no winners in this thing. I mean, if you want to celebrate it, go ahead and celebrate it, but there were certainly no winners in this thing. That said, I'm not sure there was anybody on TV who was in a better mood Friday night than the guy who tried to defend Sandusky. Did you check out Joe Amendola live on Anderson Cooper? You would have thought that he got all the charges thrown out. If you didn't know how the verdict came down and you saw him talking to Anderson Cooper, you would have thought, damn, I don't know how they they won. He got the thing thrown out. He got his client off. They got over. I mean, accounts from inside the courtroom had victims openly weeping when the verdict was read. Dottie Sandusky reportedly fell to her knees. She heard people screaming outside. She heard them cheering. She didn't know what it was. And then all of a sudden it hit her like a ton of bricks. They're cheering because my husband is going to jail for the rest of his life. So people are weeping. She hit her knees. It was a a wild, wild scene. Chaotic. Amendola, that guy's out there cracking jokes, looking for microphones and apparently trolling for a date. Check this out. He was approached by a correspondent for Anderson Cooper. During a live segment, Cooper was on. Does this sound like somebody whose child raping client was just found guilty on 45 counts? This is Joe Amendola. This is happening live. So we're going we're gonna to bring in some photographers to get him, to get him hooked up. How my are you, Joe? Yeah, cheat. No, that's my cheat sheet. That's my cheat sheet. <laughs> but we're going to get you hooked up now, Joe. You're going to be on with Anderson with Cooper. Somebody cute? It's Anderson Cooper. <laughs> And uh, he always has a sense of humor, Anderson. That's just how Joe is. Come on, Anderson. He knows I love you. All right, I'm going to step out of here. you got to be kidding me, right? Coming out of the courtroom. Absolutely terrible scene. He defended somebody who was just guilty on 45 of the 48 counts. And this guy rolls out cracking jokes like, good, man. I'm glad that's done. Glad that's over with. All right, now it's time to worry about me. Now i got to work my brand. Are there any cameras around here? Any microphones around here? So this guy who works for Anderson Cooper says, hey, we're live. I'm hooking him up right now. Hooking me up. Really? Is she cute? Anderson Cooper. Cooper. Somebody cute? It's Anderson. You catch that? We're going to hook you up, Joe. With who? Is she cute? Anderson Cooper. Somebody cute? It's Anderson Cooper. <laughs> hey, Joe, you're on CNN. Not Love Connection. You're talking to Anderson Cooper, not Chuck Woolery. Anderson Cooper is not going to say, we'll be back in two and two. This is not the dating game. Yeah, maybe you got a fat payday for defending that monster. Maybe you were looking to parlay that into something else. But could you at least wait until you left the club, the courthouse completely, before you went looking for a side piece? Very professional. At least get to the parking lot and into your car and on your cell phone with the windows rolled up and the doors locked before you start acting like that. A little bit of respect. Okay, Joe, we're live. We're going to get you hooked up. Really good, man. I got to blow off a little bit of steam. With who? Or somebody cute? It's. We're going to get you hooked up now, counselor. Great. With who? Somebody cute, I hope. With who? Or somebody cute? You want that guy representing you? Hey, Joe, what did Jerry Sandusky say to you right after the verdict was read? Uh, who the hell cares? Any single ladies out there? It's Friday night, baby. I'm off the clock. I am looking for love. With who? Or somebody cute? around here to party? Hey, where can you go to get a drink around here? Or somebody cute? Where are all the hot ladies at around this town? Man, I've been under a lot of pressure. You know who the hell I am? Or somebody cute? He's like, you gonna hook me up? Well, hot damn. Is she cute? Or somebody cute? Blonde, brunette, redhead? Man, show me a picture. I am single and ready to mingle. Woo! Or somebody cute? Holler at me, ladies. Any ladies watching at home? Anderson Cooper, man, love this show. Any ladies watching at home, hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Skype at me. 
Anderson Cooper. Cooper. Somebody can. Hey, ladies, you got a real nice BMW. Yep, the tags are expired, but I got a real nice BMW. Cooper. Somebody can. They're probably still victims. Probably still victims shuffling out of the courtroom within earshot of him. And he's out there, yeah, hook me up. Somebody cute? Or somebody cute? Hey, Joe, what was the worst decision? Subjecting your client to a live interview with Bob Costas or seeing him get life in prison and then looking for a date during a live interview with Anderson Cooper? Tie for last. And even if you want to come in here and argue that he didn't know he was on the air yet, number one, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he was on the air or not. That was his vibe coming out of the courtroom. Number two, always assume you're on the air. If you see somebody on TV, if you see a reporter in the field, you see a camera, there's a mic, assume that it's hot. Assume you're on the air. That doesn't even matter. That was that guy's vibe rolling out of the courtroom. Surrounded by people. Media people. I'm sure the victims felt very good about that. And you see that lawyer roll out of that courtroom? Trolling for a date on Anderson Cooper? Somebody cute. Way to go, Joe.